Yeah, hi, Chris. So this is uh, the intersection of 38th and Chicago. Uh, George Floyd was was killed now a, a, more than a week ago right in front of this Cub Foods, and that's where his memorial started up. But as you can see, it has grown substantially. So now in the intersection, we're looking at this circle made up of flowers, made up of messages. You can see um, after many of these people tell me they've been here all night, it's kind of cleanup time right now. People are sweeping, kind of picking up any garbage left over. Uh, and they tell me it's been peaceful, that this has really been what they call kind of a sanctuary or a sacred spot and and despite say, staying out here uh, past the city's imposed curfew that police have let them be here to peacefully gather uh, yesterday we saw of course it's uh, much busier in the day lots of people coming out families coming out and yesterday George Floyd's brother was one of those people he stopped by really emotional moment as he took a took a knee on the spot where his brother died he cried and then he spoke to the crowd about wanting justice for George and also wanting peace so if I'm not over here wilding out, if I'm not over here blowing up stuff, if I'm not over here messing up my community, then what are y'all doing? What are y'all doing? Y'all doing nothing because that's not going to bring my brother back at all. And, and even this morning, we've been here since about four. A lot of the people who told us that they've been here overnight are still here. And now we're kind of starting to see some new faces uh, come out. So this, it seems like this is really a spot that's never, um, never really left. There's always at least a, a small group here um, gathering peacefully. Chris? Jennifer Austin live at the George Floyd Memorial this morning.